What's going on everyone? Happy Saturday and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, and having a great day so far. If you had to take a test for any of the viruses, I hope you have tested negative. It is time now for the Saturday edition of the virus update for Saturday, December 20th, 2025. That's right. We are getting oh so close to Christmas. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. Spend the next 10 to 15 minutes with me, and I will make sure you are updated on what's going on with these viruses that are making people sick right now. If you want to stay informed each and every day, subscribe to my channel every day. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. We do have a few news stories to take a look at today. Then we'll take a look at some daily data and some weekly data from the CDC. I don't think this video will go over 15 minutes. All right, starting off with this. Breaking. This was uh, posted. When was this posted by Sci-Fi? I believe it was just posted just the other day. And uh, New York City, New Jersey, New York have an all-time seasonal record high for flu-like illness and a record high seasonal spike breaking every record since 1997. Michigan has a week 50 record high and a record high week 49 50 spike with records going back to 2010. Maryland and Delaware have record high spikes. New York State has 242% higher flu-like illness activity versus 2019. Delaware 230% versus 2019. Michigan, 158% versus 2019. Yikes, my friends. That is not good whatsoever. And when we take a look at this flu activity map, you can see the Northeast is really getting hit hard, as is portions of Michigan, Minnesota. And take a look down in Louisiana. Louisiana is not uh, going well either. We'll look more at this map in just a little bit. Here's some more on flu. U.S. flu activity takes a big jump as two deaths in kids have been confirmed. Yes, influenza activity in the United States has spiked across the country with 17 jurisdictions, 14 states, and Puerto Rico, Washington, D.C., and New York City reporting high or very high influenza-like illness and other key indicators rising, signaling the start of the Flu season in earnest. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, said in its weekly flu view update. The CDC also noted two new flu-related deaths in children and provided data on the rise of subclade K among H3N2 flu viruses as Americans approached a peak season of gathering with family and friends. Yes, uh, we're approaching Christmas. The gatherings have already started. The holiday office parties, gathering with friends at bars, uh, family gatherings, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, all of that is coming and in, in some retrospect has already started. The office parties, yeah, they began several weeks ago, so uh, things are only going to uh, continue. Let's move on. We could read the rest of that, but we'll just move on to this. Uh, mutant H3N2 subclade rises, increases uh, cases in New York City by 83%. Yes, cases increased 83% in New York City for this. Uh, 47,522 cases, 2,251 emissions, and one pediatric death. Yikes, that is not good. And you can see here, things are just clearly going upward in the wrong direction. Staying with the Northeast, because uh, right now, it's the Northeast portion of the United States that is really getting hit hardest, and to some degree the South. Uh, Massachusetts Department of Health reports 13 adult flu deaths this season. Yeah, already, uh, with Christmas yet to come, New Year's, and everything else. Let's talk about sports for a moment, because we've got a problem there, and this is a team from the South. The Dallas Mavericks are dealing with this. I get this. Anthony Davis, dealing with an illness, threw up twice during the last game. Dallas Mavericks star Anthony Davis is dealing with an illness and said he threw up twice during the last game against the Detroit Pistons. He's listed as probable for the upcoming game versus the 76ers. This was posted on December 20th. Uh, I'll have to see when this game is because Sixers are my team. And I'm going to make sure I watch this uh, game to see if he plays or not. And if he does play, we'll see how he plays. Like, well, wow, that's 
throwing up twice during a basketball game? Uh, okay, I mean, it probably happened pre-COVID times, but uh, if you're not feeling well, why are you playing? I, I don't get it. All right, this from Alaska. One in 500 Alaskans died from COVID-19 in 2020 to 2023. Over a roughly three-year period from March 2020 to May 2023, 1,564 Alaskans died from COVID-19. Here's the interesting part. 74% of those who died were eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine had opted not to receive it. So of those deaths, 74% of them never even took a vaccine. Interesting, isn't it? All right, moving on now to, uh, let's take a look at the weekly measles total. It's in the United States. It's 1,958 confirmed measles cases were reported in this past week. Uh, we will get another update. I think we'll get another update on this again next year. I don't know. Date is going to be kind of wonky. What is Christmas Eve is Wednesday, and then Christmas Day is Thursday. So I don't know what we're getting. We may not get the updates until the following Monday, much like what they did on Thanksgiving. All right, let's see what's going on with the viral activity levels in Canada, shall we? COVID-19 is moderate. Flu A is high. Flu B is low. And RSV is moderate at this time. Let's take a look at what's going on over in the UK real quickly, shall we? COVID cases. They're going up slightly. 778, that's up by 64%. Deaths, 56, that's down. Patients admitted, 691. That is up by 169 at this time. And taking a look at flu, we can see flu did go down a little bit. Hospitalizations are still going up. Same deal with RSV, but we'll have to see what happens when we come to Christmas, which is coming up this week. That could cause things to go back upward once again for cases and the positivity rate. Now let's take a look at air qualities, but while this refreshes, well, it already refreshed. Let's pause and take a hydration break. Juice is the drink of choice today. Orange juice. All righty. Doesn't that feel much better? And take a look at the West Coast. We're not leaving you out of this video because, unfortunately, your air qualities are not great. Take a look at California. We can see here in California, uh, yeah, we're seeing a lot of red. We're seeing some oranges, yellows. Unfortunately, your air qualities are not great. Oregon has some problems. Washington has a few problems, and there's also a few problems in western Canada as well. In the southeast portion of the U.S., Florida is fine, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. Texas has a few minor air quality issues along the Gulf Coast. Also, not great air quality across the Mid-Atlantic. Some yellows, again, showing up. Hey, it's better than the oranges and reds that we've been seeing, but eh, not perfect. We could see that be better. Now let's take a look at what's going on with the EMS situation, starting off with Pinellas County, Florida, where we do see there's a few sick person calls and a few other things going on. I mean, it is relatively busy, but we're not seeing a lot of these reds over here where there's ambulances stuck waiting at the hospital. There's a few, but not many. What's going on with the hospitals in Maryland? We haven't looked at this in a few days. The last time we looked at it, it was pretty bad. I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm looking at this for the first time since a couple days ago, just like... You are seeing it for the first time, unless you went to the webpage. Uh, we are seeing a few fours. Less, I would say. Yes, definitely less fours. Some twos, some threes. Definitely some ones. Ones are good. So, while it's busy there, not as busy. So, we'll take it. Some good news out of Maryland. Now, Philadelphia, not so good news. Thursday, 772 EMS incidents. And a little higher, getting closer to that 800 number. But then we come to this, Friday, 841 EMS calls yesterday. Yeah, that's not good. And I can gather that today is busy because we actually had some fire department activity just up the street. They had their uh, radio, dispatch radio, really high. I heard it going off a ton saying, medic this, medic that, medic, medic 28, medic both. Uh, it was going off the whole time over there, so that's not good. I'll have to maybe listen to that later on just to... Hear what's going on. Taking a look at Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Uh-oh. Look at this. I'm, I can't even fit them all on the screen. Yeah, 18 EMS calls. That's busy for us Saturday. We're seeing a lot of different things. A lot of head injuries and fall victim calls. Taking a look at Chester County. And in Chester County, we are seeing uh, several things going on there. Including EMS standby at a place that could potentially be spreading some COVID. It says Longwood Road, Conservatory Road. 
Let me explain that to you. That would be the Longwood Gardens. They keep EMS on standby, I assume, because they got the big uh, Christmas light display there. If you've never seen it, it's actually really beautiful. I have been there before, twice actually. And they do timed visits now because we're in the COVID era. They just never took it away. So it's timed as to how many people can uh, go in at a certain time. Once you're in, you're in for the whole day. Uh, it's, it's rather interesting. Anywho, taking a look at what's going on in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, where uh, there's seven EMS calls right now. Okay, now I got to show you this. This is a little bit behind, but it is worth looking at. Patient volume issues at four hospitals in southeast Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's not good. New Jersey, what's going on there today? And we can see here there is a specialty issue at Inspire Medical Center Mannington. And is that it? That's it for New Jersey. That's good. All right, we have not taken a look at New York State COVID cases yesterday. 671 were reported there. Yesterday, hospitalizations, uh, 450 admissions reported. All right, let's get to some new data in from the CDC, which will include the entire country, not just the Northeast. As of December 9th, 2025, and let's actually refresh this. Yeah, that should say as of December 16th, because that's the new date update. And wow, doesn't that look a bit different? As of December 16th, 2025, we estimate that COVID-19 infections are growing or likely growing in 31 states and declining or likely declining in just one state. There's that one state, Hawaii. And not changing in 15 states. Previous estimates can be found on the CDC's website. Let's take a look at uh, influenza. But before we do that, look at that. California is now listed at growing. So maybe the West now, uh, you've been mute for so long with COVID. Maybe the tide is starting to change. Unfortunately, we can see not changing listed up there in Washington and Oregon at this time. And we can see the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic. Yeah, things are rapidly getting worse for COVID. All right, influenza. Do I really need to say much about the... Yeah, I'll read it. As of December 16th, 2025, we estimate that influenza infections are growing or likely growing in 47 states, declining in one state, Hawaii. And not changing in zero states. Previous estimates can be found on CDC's website. Uh, Hawaii was one of the earlier states to get going for these viruses. Could be why things are declining there. But maybe that'll go up as well. Maybe some people are spending that Christmas in Hawaii. That once-in-a-lifetime trip to Hawaii. I don't know. Uh, take a look at this. RSV. Now, there is a change here with this. As of December 16th, 2025, we estimate that RSV infections are growing or likely growing in 32 states, declining or likely declining in one state, and not changing in seven states. And here's that one state that's declining. Florida. Yeah, you're actually improving when it comes to RSV. Uh, look at the West Coast. West Coast is really getting bad for RSV, as is the Great Lakes and the Midwest. So yes, definitely some problems showing up with that. Not good. Moving on to some more CDC data. Here is that influenza-like illness map, and we can see now very high is listed in New York, which also uh, includes New York City, which is purple. It's the highest level on the chart. And we can also see here very high in New Jersey, Louisiana, and Colorado, as to be expected in Colorado, because we saw those positivity rates going up. Idaho, South Carolina, Michigan, uh, Connecticut, also Massachusetts is showing up in the high category at this time. And you know what? We're also seeing very high. I'm noticing here. Looks like uh, Rhode Island. Is that Rhode? Yes, Rhode Island is coming up very high as well. We're also seeing high status now in Puerto Rico and New Mexico. And high status is also now showing up in Maryland, uh, Washington, D.C., North Carolina, and Georgia. And then after that, we do have moderate in Ohio, New Hampshire, Minnesota. And moderate is showing up in Texas as well. And then you do have the lower shade of moderate and low levels in other places. But you can see here, this map over the last few weeks is clearly picking up. All right, I do have to show you this. We do have new variant data from COVID. XFG variant is 61% of the cases in the United States. XFG.14.1 is 15% of the cases. And XFG.1 is 5% of the cases. All right, take a look at this. Wastewater for COVID in the United States on the most recent update as of the 13th actually dropped. Yeah, you're hearing me correctly. Wastewater for COVID actually dropped here in the United States. 
Now, there may be some incomplete data. They may go back and correct that. So I'm very um, cautious on that. I'm suspect that maybe there's something wrong with that. I want you to see this. What's going on with influenza? Yeah, influenza in just about all regions of the United States continues to go up. And in fact, we are seeing, where is this? The Northeast is now in the high category. Nationally, influenza still ranked at low, but yeah, with the next update, uh, whenever that's going to be, I got a feeling it's going to quickly jump to moderate, and eventually we will see it get up too high here in the United States. All right, tomorrow will be Wastewater Sunday. We'll take a look at Wastewater Scan, a bunch of dashboards. I got a feeling we're going to be doing some catch-up with news. Tomorrow could be a really busy virus update. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to do that. We might even throw some stuff into Monday's video instead. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And leave your comments down below. Ways to support the channel are listed down below. I will see you again tomorrow. Until I see you again tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone. And have a fantastic Saturday afternoon. Thanks for watching.